is a topic I wish I had learned in school. Hi, this is Atiya here. Welcome to PhDpreneur, where we discuss PhD mindset and personal finance. So today we are going to discuss an important topic, which is personal finance or money management. I see a lot of videos floating around YouTube on this topic, and I thought, let me share some of the resources for gaining knowledge or information. Uh, as far as this topic is concerned because there is no formal education as such i thought why not make a video on this topic so let's begin with today's topic personal finance management or money management before that we will see why is it important to manage money why is it important to get knowledge about personal finance now when we are talking about today's topic we will restrict to how one can manage one one's personal money rather than business or rather than investment options as this video is dedicated more to beginners now most of the population lives on a paycheck to paycheck basis meaning that whenever say suppose you get a salary of 50000 or 1 lakh you somewhat manage to save little bit then you wait for the next salary so the goal of personal finance or money management is also to break this cycle it also ensures that you meet your money needs whatever you need to buy or whatever you your wishes are the goal is to fulfill that and also save at the same time so we are not trying to elevate one category of saving and reduce the expenses over here we are trying to get a holistic balance between spending and saving as individuals we all have wishes to fulfill it increases cash flow it gives you security when you are able to buy things for your family the security that you offer is important for many of us family is our ultimate support system it helps in managing debt it keeps you away from debt when does debt happen when the money is not managed properly when the budgeting and saving cycles are not in sync it is very important that money is managed and it avoids debt it grows your asset just saving money is a part of the ball game but investing in assets growing the assets it takes time it requires careful planning as humans there is always a tendency to need to increase the standard of living unless money is managed well or then that cash flow decreases and this dream does not come true so all these things are the benefits or i can say are the reasons why it is very important to learn about managing money wisely and i have some resources for you every person can take one or the other thing from today's content moving on to my personal favorite category that is books the first book recommendation that i wish to give is let's talk money now this book is for those who are looking to understand simple concepts about money and to learn it in a way that they can apply in their own lives it breaks down complex terms into simpler ones so that you understand it is relevant to indian context specifically it is written from a women's perspective not that others cannot read it but women will find it specially useful as far as indian households are concerned most of the money decisions are usually take, taken by males of the house as women we need to know how the cash flow happens what happens to the money how the calculations are to be worked out properly if a person is a complete beginner then this book is for you it's very simple to understand it book will serve as a starting point for all those who are looking to understand little bit about money management it's an easy to know resource for all the investment options available in india moving on to the next book that is the psychology of money at times what happens we do not we do not try to get more money or we do not try to allocate it well because we do not deserve that we are made for good wealth or we do not deserve that we are made for that kind of success that is where the psychology or the mindset part comes into play it's a famous book it's an international best seller and it mainly targets 
the mindsets that are required to grow money it has around 20 chapters and in those 20 lessons it breaks down all the things that you need to believe in yourself there are few things that this book highlights money has to be saved not because one aims to buy a house or achieve a dream but rather it helps to buy one of the most valuable of all things that is time i think this is really profound more money can actually help in saving on time by allowing one to delegate the tasks to others by allowing one to live a financially free life financial success is not hard science unlike engineering or doctorate or any other profession it is a soft skill where how you behave is far more important than what you know knowledge is good but knowing what to do has nothing to do with what goes in your mind before you try to do it there's another quote which I like. Rich is the current income. Wealth is income not spent. Wealth is hard because it requires self-control. And it is so true. Before reading this book, I always had this idea that being rich and being wealthy is they are they are the same things. But then thanks to this book. Moving on to the next category of YouTube channels which have playlist or which have content related on this particular topic. The first one is Salone Srivastava. I'm sure everyone must have heard about her. This channel does not need any introduction, but in case you do not know, it's an Indian lifestyle channel, but she has several videos on budgeting, investing. I came to know about her channel through one of her videos on finance. I leave her finance playlist in the description box below and all the links to the resources mentioned in this video will be will be left onto the will be left into the description box. My most favorite video of her channel is the one where she speaks about how to buy a house before turning 25. So that was my favorite video and it is my favorite till date. It's easy to understand and specific to Indian context. So if you are interested in watching content related to that in a simple, uh, easy to understand manner, then I would recommend her channel. Let's Make You Rich is a relatively new channel as of now. If you know Abhi and New on Instagram, then this is, I think, one of their YouTube offerings. She offers a simple, easy to understand videos on this topic. This channel also speaks about money mistakes that we make and also uh, introduction to concepts such as mutual funds. The next resource that I wish to recommend is The Financial Diet. Now this is a hardcore finance channel. Now not only finance, it deals with everything which is related to money. When you are broke, how does it affect your mental health? She also analyzes the trends, the YouTube or of the movies, how it leads to consumerism in life, how it leads, how the advertisers and how different platforms try to get your attention span and increase consumerism for the benefit of their company. In budgeting also, there are several types. So different kinds of budgetings are discussed over here. Anybody is trying to quit their job, then what needs to be taken into consideration? Even such uh, topics which are really relevant, but which are not discussed so much. Then the reckless spending habits that we have, how it drives consumerism, how it affects the mental health. So everything under the sun, which is related to money whether it is mental health or quitting your job or side or starting a side hustle all that is discussed over here i would recommend seeing this channel after after understanding the basic concepts what i also like about this channel is it is not like the regular sit down kind of videos which tend to get sometimes boring but this has a lot of animations lot of different contributors to the channel which helps increase the diversity when you are done with books and youtube channel which are the beginners the resources that i've discussed are more beginner friendly if say suppose you need a course which teaches you and takes you through everything step by step then also i have some recommendations the first The first recommendation is a class on personal finance by Philippa Canellis and it is present on Skillshare 
it is a paid platform it offers around if i'm not wrong 30 30 days of a free trial so you can watch this course content during that time even if you sign up for a validity of around 1 year i think it costs hardly around 2000 where there are courses on different topics this course teaches you to manage money in a very step by step and friendly manner which is easy to understand and easy to follow after going through this course if you need more knowledge then i have some other recommendation which is present on course era financial planning for young adults and it is present on course era you can audit the course this course has particularly around 8 modules and each module i believe it is the duration is 1 to 2 hours really concept heavy i recommend going through this course after having a look at the different resources that i have mentioned earlier that's it for today's video i would love to see your recommendations of resources books youtube channels or courses in the comments down below thank you